Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I've got the latest Christopher Ward C60 Trident Pro 600 Mark III generation. An all new update from Christopher Ward, very nicely done. I'm gonna get into all the details. Uh, but this one is special because it is the first time they've released this watch in the 40 millimeter size. They've always gone, you know, 40, 42, 43, and then the smaller 38. So this time uh, they're offering an option in 40 in black on bracelet. And I think it's gonna prove to be very popular. Uh, I like it for a few reasons. Let me get into those. I love the way it looks on my wrist. It's the perfect size. You know, it's substantial enough for my larger wrist at 7.25 inches, but it's got the very pleasant proportions where there's no lug overhang. It's not too tall. It's not too diminutive, but yet it's wearable. And I think those of you that have smaller wrists, you know, I think you would really enjoy this one. If you can pull off the 38, I think you actually might like the 40 a little bit more. It's the sweet spot for a lot of us watch fans. And as you guys can see, this has got a beautiful new retooled case here with high polished, large chamfered edges, very beautiful fluid lines, a little bit more delicate look to the crown guards. And as you guys can see, we do have an embossed crown here signed. And overall looks very pleasant from the sloped, loomed, polished ceramic bezel insert to the bracelet that has a wider brushed center link, which I think ties the whole look uh, together very well. So it's clean and it has a lot of the elements that we like to see in more expensive watches, like, uh, like my GMT Master II, for example. This has got great fit and finish, ceramic, enamel dial, very comfortable bracelet. And I look at this Christopher Ward and a lot of those elements are present here. You know, nice fit and finish, ceramics, polished dial, pop to the applied markers and handset. Now this has a really nice presence in person. Now looking at this dial up close on a macro level, you can see a retooled handset, which looks very good. Christopher Ward, you know, they're displaying a little bit of finesse here with the finishing. We have polished chamfered edges, nice deep grain brushing, running the length of the center of each one of those hands. And I like the new hour hand. You know, to me, the form kind of reminds me of the center point or spear of the Trident, which is really, you know, the name of this model, obviously. And you can see that form, that Trident form is still found as the counterbalance weight to the running seconds hand. So that all looks very sharp. If we look at the applied markers, they're new. You can see they're a railroad style application with again, some finesse, some brushing on the top and then a high polished slope inner facet. And those really do grab light very nicely. So the look is very clean, very legible. I think very attractive. There's some nice attention to detail here from the blacked out date wheel to a little pop of red on the text underneath automatic on the bottom portion of the dial. So I really like what's displayed here. Let me give you a little look at the bracelet and clasp. We've got a nice large clasp with substantial twin trigger buttons there. And then if I show you the inside, you can see a ratchet extension system. So that long horizontal bar there uh, to operate it, what you gotta do is just pull it down and then you can slide in and slide out and get some travel uh, and find the right position with that micro adjust. That's, that's a handy feature. I'd say it's not quite as nice as like the Omega push button style or the Rolex glide lock, but still it's good to have and it, it's not adding, you know, a bunch of height or mass to that clasp. So that, that's pretty cool. If we look at the case back here, you can see a nice deep case back, different finishing there. It looks really good. There's no hot spots while it's on wrist. And then on the outside there, if you notice where the bracelets connect into the case, you can see tabs on both sides. And that's a quick release system. All you have to do is just pinch those together and you can pull the bracelet off and put on leather, rubber, whatever you're feeling. So that's another handy feature, nice to see. Another thing I enjoy is we have a loomed ceramic insert and Christopher Ward is using the latest and greatest formula of Superluminova, which is X1 GLC1. So white in daylight and then very potent green in low light situations. 
And you guys can see that loom ceramic bezel insert looks awesome. It's just as potent as the elements on the face of the watch, the hands and the applied indices there. So zooming out, let me give you my final thoughts here. Christopher Ward is using a Salita SW200 movement in here, which uh, they spec at minus 20 to plus 20 seconds per day, which when I saw on the, on the user's manual, I was a little surprised because it's a little bit more than like the competitor to uh, Christopher Ward, which I would say would be like an Oris Diver 65 or an Aquas. Uh, so it's got a pretty large deviation rate, but I can tell you that, that mine is averaging plus two and a half seconds per day. So chronometer levels of, uh, of adjustment there. Although, like I said, you could get one that is, you know, up to 40 seconds off per day, which is a little bit surprising. Other than that though, I mean, like I said, the details are awesome. The fit and finish, the finesse, how it all blends together. Uh, it's, it's a very exciting piece. And I think people are really gonna enjoy this 40 millimeter size like I do. Now, let me just show you the bezel action before we close. It is one of the highlights to me. Very loud, very snappy, very easy to turn and just maybe just a touch of play but overall one of the more pleasant bezel actions that I've experienced at this price point and certainly nicer than like the uh, anything from Oris at this price point. So in the end, a very cool release. This is one that Christopher Ward actually gifted to me as a thank you for helping them present this one and then also the uh, Trident Elite Titanium, the 1000 meter chronometer that I've uh, reviewed here on the channel recently. So I wanna uh, let you guys know <laughs> I'm super excited about it. And a big thank you to Christopher Ward. I really appreciate it. That does mean a lot to me because I, I do try to, you know, I, I take some pride in the level of quality of my presentations here. So that, that means a lot. I wanna thank you guys. And I thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next video.